Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and uh, well, let's get back into Agartha. <clears throat> uh, doing this on my on the headphone on the headset that I found, so uh, I'm able to record in-game audio once again through a headset, not having to deal with the uh, posting, you know, lowering the sound or anything like that. I only have it at like uh, just below the the red mark on the headset, so. Let's do, let's do a garden house. Now here's the thing, <clears throat> in, a, in the previous uh, story part, I was wondering who the writer of, um, the writer, of, the writer of Resistance was. I found out who it is. He's a three star writer that's going to be available after Agartha, and it's, he's story locked. It's Christopher Columbus. Spoiler alert. So. Uh, what I understand from uh, video song K Collections, he's a watered down Drake. So if you don't have Drake, he's a pretty good he's a pretty good substitute. Which uh, probably, I'm probably gonna try again because I don't have Drake. I really want Drake. <clears throat> so actually, I'm gonna post a video where it's got a, like a, a picture of the. Ones that are going to be available for the GSSR. So, be on the lookout for that. So, let's get into it. This is going to be a bunch of riders, so I'm going to be using all assassins. Well, except for my, uh, I'm doing this one here. Um, rider. Yeah, that's, well, not, not him. He's not going to be known. Do I, who else do I have along the assassins that's female? <sighs> Don't really want to use her. So I'm going to go with... Uh, <coughs> um, wait. So I'm going to go ahead and go to... Um, good old Umlair. So let's get into it. Here we go. Section 4, Resistance. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, what is this place? One minute we're in an endless narrow cave in the next. Paradise. What a beautiful place. So evocative of spring and the smell. Those peaches? It's like the utopia described in an old eastern legends. Ah, uh, yes, the one described in the road record of the peach blossom, written by poet Tao Yan Yuan Ming around the 5th century. <coughs> an old Chinese story about a hunter who goes through a hole he finds in a mountain. On the other side, he discovers an eternal and ethereal paradise. Call this place whatever you like. What's important is that this is our hideout. Okay, Chris. It's in a valley surrounded by rocky cliffs on all four sides. Undiscovered from the outside. By the way, I call him Chris because uh, I work with someone named Christopher. And I call him Chris all the time. The walls are pretty much impossible to climb. And the only way in or out is that, is that cave we just went through. We are very lucky to just happen across it. It's the perfect place for our hideout. Hi, Ryder. I heard the last operation was a huge success. I don't know if I'd go that far, but we did all right. Come on, you freed all the men in that town, right? How's that not a success? I haven't gone over this before. It's about the war, not the battle. Modest victories are certainly good enough for me. What matters that we keep moving forward? God damn it, those three words. Sorry, keep moving forward is... Just a line that was constantly said by Monty, the late Monty O. That's a big one. Even if it's just one small step at a time. That is how you can always be sure to get where you're going. Yes, sir. But I still want you to take me along to the next battle. I promise to do my best. Ha <laughs> ha, all in good time. I see you're greatly admired. I feel like you gave some really good advice, too. I'm just doing what comes naturally. I'm an that I am. Don't read too much into it. The 
that said, I've got a soft spot for enthusiastic youngsters like that. They really do shine brilliantly, brilliantly when they put their minds to something. If I just, but I digress. Come on, into my shack here, and I'll tell you what I can. I don't suppose we could also impose on you for some food. I can keep going for a long time, but when I get hungry, I end up eating everything in sight. It doesn't have to be the best food, just a lot of it. Sure, help yourself to the, po to the peaches. For some reason, they grow all the time here, so we never run out. You grow sick and tired of it, having nothing but peaches after a while. But at least we don't have to worry about food here in resistance. So, ray shifting, Caldea, heroic spirits, and mankind. Sounds like very important stuff. Okay, well they've got a handle on your story now. Great, the pieces are yummy, by the way. Ooh, ooh. Yes, they're delicious. They're sweet, juicy, and very filling. We haven't finished the official heroic spirits top 10 sweets list. Super certain. But I can say for sure, very more than a certain slide, teenage servant like I said. That these peaches get a solid five stars. Yep. Mm. Everyone, I understand how you feel, and honestly, I'm a little jealous that I can't have them myself. But please, we need to focus. First of all, we need to go over everything Ryder told us. Agreed. Let's all make sure we're on the same page here. They can listen and eat, I'm sure. Point the first. There's no exit to the surface. None that we found so far, anyway. North, south, east, west, up, down, left, right. Everywhere we've looked, there's been nothing but earth and more earth. No one's found a way out. That prompts an obvious question. If there's no way in or out, how did all the resistance members get here? Everyone looks and dresses so differently. They even seems to be from the different eras. So I can't imagine they grew up here. They didn't. Every one of them I've talked to says pretty much the same thing. They say a whole sun would open up underneath them, and the next thing they knew, they were here. Near as I can tell, it sounds like something's abducting them from the surface and sending them here. I've seen men rain down from the sky on a few cages themselves. And there doesn't seem to be any sort of common factor on where they came from either. They drop in from all over the place, as far as we can tell. Perhaps they have some sort of trap that uses a teleportation spell. And that's what's bringing them, these men to a garden. Why? What can you tell us about the Amazons? I can't speak to the, specific, to the specifics, but they look to be somewhat like us. Like servants. At least in as much as they suddenly appeared down here for some reason. Call it a hunch. So the Amazons most likely wound up here the same way have an abducted man from the surface. It feels like there's some sort of connection to, to be made here. Hmm? Oh, hi! You're that boy we saw earlier. What's up? Sorry to interrupt you and your guest writer. Don't worry about it. What's the matter? It's those monsters again. We're doing our best, but there's too many. Can you help? Monsters? Like I told you, it's a valley surrounded by high rocky walls. Nothing can get in here from the ground except for that cave. But sometimes green creatures that can fly over the those walls end up wandering in here. Dragons. On that note, I better go do some pest control. Would you all mind giving me a hand? I'd be glad to. I'm only a fledgling, so I may not be able to get much help, but I'll do whatever I can. I agree. I agree we should do all that we can to put these people in our debt. Let's go, Master. <clears throat> and here we go with the battle. <clears throat> First, I think I'm good with doing uh, two single target, one AoE servant. And I got one of the best against riders, Jack. This. Okay. 
think we're gonna be able to tower it up. Big one's taken out by Jack. How I'm gonna do it. <coughs> I'm focus my attack on that center one there. Do I should take out those two other dragons? I think I did. I took out those other two dragons. Ah, no, damn it. Give her back to take out the It's possible. Okay, then. Give me a tough one. There it went. Thank you, Jolter. Oh, right. Still working on those, uh... Still working on the uh, dailies. Anyway. Okay, let's see... Let's see the story. There's a story mark. Nope, there isn't. So anyway, it's going to be more riders, probably more dragons. So until next time, this is LJ saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.